Hi, Senator. My name is Jacob Bitson. I was wondering if you have a quick second to talk about a policy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the policy is actually physician-assisted death, and it's something that's become very near and dear to me. I'm actually a healthcare worker. I work um, at St. Luke's, and I've worked in the ICU quite a bit, and I'm also a senior nursing student. So I've been around a lot of terminally ill patients, and it's something that's become really near and dear to me. If you didn't know, physician-assisted death is a growing practice that's been legalized in 10 states. Um, what it entails is when a doctor provides a lethal medication to a patient who is terminally ill and oftentimes suffering to the point where it's completely unbearable. Um, the purpose of this is to give the patient control over the course of their disease, um, when, where, and how they're going to die, um, when death is completely imminent and, and unavoidable. Um, a patient can only be approved for physician-assisted death if they've been confirmed by two physicians to both have a prognosis of six months or less and also that they're mentally sound enough to make the decision. So physician-assisted death was made illegal in 2011 under Idaho Code uh, 184017. I think this law was made very prematurely and I think a lot more educated discussion should have happened around this topic before it was made illegal. Um, the intent of Idaho Code 184017 was to make it illegal to convince somebody to commit suicide or provide them the means of doing so. And I think the fact that physician-assisted death was also made illegal under this law is a really gross conflation of a medical practice and a really heinous act. Um, I propose that we amend Idaho Code 184017 to not include physician-assisted death. Um, it still wouldn't be possible for a physician to incorporate this into their practice because it's not an improved practice, but it would allow for more discussion to be had about physician-assisted death and also um, give the possibility of it being legalized in the future. Um, there's arguments against physician-assisted death. Uh, one of the big ones is that it's playing God. Um, I think this is a really strange assertion to make, especially under Idaho law where capital punishment is legal. It's kind of strange to say that uh, the government has the power to choose death as a fitting punishment for a crime, yet we don't give a terminally ill patient the, the freedom to make the same decision for themselves. Um, another argument against this is that it may cause the physician or people surrounding the patient to inadvertently convince the patient that this is the right choice of action. But there's actually tons of steps in place to prevent this from happening. Um, multiple physicians have to be involved uh, in the intervention and the patient's frequently asked if anybody has in any way tried to convince them to go with this intervention. It has to be completely made on the patient's, uh, of the patient's own accord. Um, I'm asking for your support in amending Idaho Code 184017 um, for the good of our patient population. I appreciate your time, Senator. Thank you.